Some Republican leaders are speaking out against North Carolina Congressman Madison Cawthorn. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy says the freshman representative lost his trust following controversial comments Cawthorn made recently on a podcast. The 26-year-old congressman claimed he was invited to a, quote, orgy with colleagues, his words, not mine, and witnessed a lawmaker snorting cocaine. Then all of a sudden you get invited to, like, well, hey, we're going to have kind of a, a, a sexual get-together at one of our homes. You should come. And I'm like, what, what, what did you just ask me to come to? Yeah. Uh, and then you realize they're asking you to come to an orgy. Yeah. Uh, or, or the fact that, you know, there's some of the people that are leading on the movement to try and remove, you know, addiction in our country. And then you watch them do, you know, a key bump of cocaine right in front of you. Republican Senator Tom Tillis of North Carolina is now throwing his weight behind one of Cawthorn's primary opponents, as are the leading Republicans in the North Carolina State House and State Senate. Madison Cawthorn has already fallen out of favor with members of his own party, but now he's not even as lucrative as he used to be. Could he be a one-term congressperson? I'm Yasmin Khan with Rebel HQ, and if something doesn't change for Madison, it's sure starting to look that way. So he's already upset senior members of his party, including Kevin McCarthy, by exposing them and their coke and orgy get-togethers. Now the Daily Beast is reporting that his fundraising is also dismal, which isn't really helping him win back any of those hearts and minds that he's lost. In other words, his overall value with the GOP is dwindling, and experts are now speculating that the GOP will look to replace him in Congress. Now, according to the Daily Beast, Madison's fundraising account with the National Republican Congressional Committee, or the NRCC, shows zero dollars so far for 2022, and whatever money was in the account has been spent. Meanwhile, his leadership pack, Madison Pack, has only raised $2,000, all from a single donor who happens to be the pack's treasurer. Congressman, you got a second? Just want to ask you about the meeting well, with Leader McCarthy. He said what you said was not true about the cocaine and the origin. The What's that? Any chance we get a quick comment here at the cross wall? Right. You have to go through the wall. What's that? Just want to take our uh, second hearing the wall. Ask you an unrelated question about I, I, uh, I former President Trump saying that uh, he wanted to get dirt from. Putin on Do you think that's appropriate to ask you interview, you for... go through guy. So just to jog your memory, Madison Cawthorn is a Republican from North Carolina, and he is the youngest member of Congress. Here are some of his greatest hits. He's denied that Joe Biden won the presidency. He's encouraged his supporters to lightly threaten members of Congress in the weeks leading up to the insurrection. He told mothers to raise their boys to be monsters because the left is demasculating men. Side note, demasculate is not a word. He visited Hitler's home, posted it on Instagram, and said that this was on his bucket list to do so. He excused his absences from congressional votes by saying he was off being a good husband instead. He exaggerated the details of the accident that left him in a wheelchair, even throwing his friend under the bus to do so. He attended a conservative Christian university, dropping out after only one semester with a less than impressive showing, but after dropping out, he was accused by 150 former students of being a sexual predator. And he also said that if it weren't for the accident that left him paralyzed, he would have been on his way to the Naval Academy, even though his grades would have suggested otherwise. And more. He got to where he is today in large part by being inflammatory, and unfortunately, that's become a tried and true method of obtaining popularity points in American politics. And also, I'm sure this has nothing to do with anything, but he happened to be friends with Mark Meadows' kid. Anyway, where did the money go? Much of the money raised by Madison's leadership pack has been donated to other congressional members such as Marjorie Taylor Greene, which is generally what those PAC funds are used for, for supporting other members of your party. You're not allowed to use your own PAC money for yourself. However, a lot of the money raised seems to have been spent on personal travel expenses and fancy hotel stays in Florida. While it makes sense that he'd want to be in the nation's unofficial MAGA hub, any money brought in during his time there hasn't been enough to cover his spending. Also, there weren't any scheduled appearances or fundraising events or anything like that that corresponded with his time in Florida, so whether or not he was there on PAC duty is questionable. Furthermore, Madison's re-election campaign hasn't received any money from either the NRCC or the RNC. Part of the reason for this could be that the district is already pretty solidly red. It wouldn't make a whole lot of sense for them to invest a lot of money there. Another reason could be that the GOP doesn't really like him, and they see him more now as a liability than an asset. 
Or maybe this is all just some really crazy accounting that we don't have any further details on as yet.